What's going on guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. We all know that as watch enthusiasts, one of the only way that you can reignite the passion that you have for some of those watches that haven't seen the light of day or your wrist and have been thrown in the corner of your watch box in there for a very long time is by fitting new straps to them or buying new straps for your collection so you can try them on. And in my opinion, that is a very important task. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at a watch strap company called Armilla Watch Strap that could probably have the solution to our problem. Let's get started. So there you have it guys, these are the straps that Andre from Armilla Watch Bands has sent over for me to show to you guys. Before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to say thank you very much for doing that. Also, I do get to keep the straps, so bear in mind as we're going through the video. So the way the video is going to be structured, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, straps. So each uh, straps that we have from uh, all the three lineups. We're going to talk about pricing and towards the end of the video, we're going to put them on some watches that I uh, have lined up for you guys from what I thought that would actually go really well from my watch collection. So what do we have here? We have two 20 millimeter uh, Perlons, we have two 20 millimeter single pass NATOs and we have a 122 millimeter double pass sorry double pass nato so these are the perlon sports these are from the vestigo vestigo lineups and this is from the aero ballistic lineup so in terms of pricing the um, perlon sports start from 32 dollars and they are individually priced so you can only buy them um, single piece the ones from the vestigo lineup start from 29.99 and you can buy these also in a four pack and also in a two pack which drops in a two pack and an eight pack sorry that which drops the uh, price down so if you buy them in a four pack it would cost you um 69 dollars that means they would be uh, 17 euro 17 dollars and 25 cents per strap and also with the um aero ballistic so same pricing and if you buy them in an eight pack they will cost you uh, 11 25 dollars per um Per strap so that would be around $89 or so something around that lines anyway I'll leave all the relevant links in the description box below you have a few more colors to choose from also next to the link there was go there will be a um, discount code that will drop they will take 15% off uh, any sales or any purchase that you do from the website so, so let's go a little bit through the straps guys so we're just gonna start with the um, Perlons. Now he sent me the red one and the blue one. Actually, I've been wearing them both and recently I kind of changed this and put it on a different watch. I'll show you guys in a little while. But um, I'm just going to use one for a comparison. So one of the things that struck me as soon as I took them out of the packaging, and this was a theme that was going throughout all these straps, is the consistent finishing on the hardware and also the consistent finishing throughout uh, like the strap, the entire strap. So the hardware on it, this is all nicely, it's a mixture of um, brushed and polished finish. And it's a really, really solid feel buckle. So it doesn't rattle. You can have these little tubes here that help slide when you're putting the strap to it, through it. But like, it doesn't actually matter because these little true tubes are turning here but still it doesn't rattle that much. So it has a really solid feel to it. And I've been wearing this strap more into the um, traditional style NATO. So it's a little longer, just so you can have that extra bit of strap on the side here so you can uh, fold it in. But still, because it's a very thin strap, so I think it's 1.2 millimeters, it would wear really, really nice. And one of the cool things about uh, Perlon straps that you can adjust it to your wrist so you're not actually um, limited to the strap to the whole distance on the um, straps is because it doesn't have those uh, those punch uh, holes in it's just made through this uh, with this kind of weaving as you can see here and the nice thing about this is that it's very flexible so it actually feels really really good and it wears comfortably on the wrist and I have to say, after wearing this, the watch on the strap for an entire day, as soon as you take the pin out of anywhere, out of here, the watch comes, the uh, the strap comes back together really, really nice and tight. So it hasn't deformed in any way, shape, or form, and it just kept uh, kept well, not rigidity. It, it just kept its form really, really nice. So I'm not going to complain, guys. It's actually a very, very well put together um, 
strap and the nice thing about this is one that you can actually adjust it to your desired length so you can wear it any way you want if you want a little bit of extra material on the side of your wrist here to um to keep it in my again in a more traditional style nato you can do that as well you can if you want to wear it like a normal watch like a normal watch strap so a little bit shorter than i have it now you can do that as well because you can adjust it so it can you can do that very very easy as long as you you know you prefer it or so depending on whatever occasion you want to wear the um uh, strap on and the cool thing about Perlon straps is that these compared to your regular NATOs they would have a more more classy kind of finish and a more classy kind of appearance so they would work better on um, they would work a lot more actually on uh, dress watches you'll see later on on what kind of watch I actually uh, have it on so now we're going to move on to I'm just going to push these up uh, there we're going to move on to the uh, Vestigo lineup so he sent me the um, on the Vestigo lineup, he sent me the khaki green and the uh, steel gray. So the steel gray and the khaki green. So again, I'm just going to use one for reference. But this particular one, I have to say that this, I was actually impressed with this because it's super, super soft. So it has this really, really uh, soft silk-like nylon. So this is more like your... Um, seat seat belt style single pass nato so this is how the uh the pattern would actually be called on this so it's a really soft texture but at the same time it's not flexible it's nice and it's nice and strong and it wears very thin because it's it's a it's a single pass and again throughout you have the same theme running through you have this uh floating keeper as it's called and you have the same uh, theme running through so like fine brushing on the top and also on the side you have lovely chamfering here and uh, I have to say again with the um, the little engraving the logo so this is like nice and discreet here and it's it's an actual it's it's a very nice strap and it felt again after wearing it for a while normally I would have a lot of uh, difficulties finding a strap that actually not that 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 suits my wrist because that would be it wouldn't be fair to say that it's just that um, there was always problems with the distance between the holes here for me so it was either too tight or too small but not with this one again if you want to go more on that side you can always uh, opt for a perlon but not with this one so the size the the holes on this were actually the um, right distance maybe they should have a um, a, uh, a certain distance between them but like the the way they were done they actually fitted my wrist very very well so again slim profile really solid well finished and this floating keeper here actually helps to adjust the uh, extra material that you have on the side you'll see later on the, on whatever uh, watch I have this uh, prepared for you guys so stay tuned and last but not least I have the traditional style NATO so this is the double pass NATO again same kind of finish and this the finishing on the on the uh, this particular um, buckle my apologies there is a more of a polished finish so the one that i have here is is the khaki field so again this is a nice and solid field and it's thinner than your regular one actually get i have um, i should have got a new uh, a different strap for you guys to uh, compare but um the thing about this one, this was the surprise because I actually had a watch, the watch that, I, uh, that I'll show for you guys, I kind of had it up for sale and as soon as I put this strap on that watch, I was like, nope, the watch's not going for sale anymore because I uh, this, this particular strap kind of um, reignited the love and the passion that I was seeing in the start of the video uh, for it. So this is about the strap, not about the watch. So again, the uh, keepers on this one are all, um, they're not polished, so they're all, uh, they're not polished, they're not brushed, so they're all high polish finish. And again, the same kind of consistency, solid. The stitching on it is nice and consistent. So you don't feel there's nothing is coming apart. Really, really solid. And the holes on it, they're at the right distance as well. So again, um, even the ends here, you wouldn't feel, so this is like nicely cut as well. You wouldn't feel like it's gonna come apart anytime soon. Also on the uh, buckle here, you have the uh, Armilla uh, logo and this fits in very very so it's it's a good finished strap really solid and i think it actually it's worth all money and considering the fact that you can get these uh, in a um four pack and an eight pack especially if you buy it in an eight pack that's you know and they have a few good colors for you to choose 
when you buy an eight pack, it drops the price for at uh, eleven twenty five. And I think that like, if you buy eight NATO straps and if you have a huge watch collections, that's that sort of because these are premium style, uh, premium NATO straps. So before I actually said that, I was like, sometimes it's hard for me to justify the price of a strap, but after having these ones, I'm not going to complain because. These, the Perlons were also a surprise because they held up very, very well. And I thought that they were going to come apart, especially, you know, with um, a lot of use from the pin. So every time using it here, you know, I was like, yep, it's going to break sometime. But they didn't. So there was a lot of confidence there. And even with the, uh, the Vestigos, also the slim profile. So again, another added love for the uh, single pass NATO. So, and also this. The watch this is a 22 millimeter and the watch that i have it on it's is actually it's a bigger watch and as soon as i put this on it's like nope it doesn't look as big as i thought it was going to look so that watch is going to get more love it's going to stay in my collection thanks to armilla and i know it sounds a bit cheesy and thanks to this particular strap now let's put them on some watches and see what i'm talking about if you're still around I wanted to do this short shot for you guys to have a look at on the um, selection of watches that I have for the straps. And I just wanted to give you guys five seconds or five minutes or however, five minutes, five seconds to have a look at the watches and the straps and just have a guess on which strap will go on what watch. Now, have a better look. Give you five seconds. Three, four, five. That's great. Now let's put them on the on the uh, the wrist. So the first one that we have, we have we're gonna start with the same way as we talked about them. We have the Perlons, and the actual blue Perlon is going with my Orient Bambino. And I have to say, this is what I was talking about when I was saying that Perlons, these particular Perlons, especially the blue one, is actually made to go uh, better with a uh, dress watch. And I have to say that this is actually superb it works really really well slim profile it doesn't it's it's comfortable and it actually brings it works really well with the uh, color of the um dial and one of the nice things about perlons is that because they can shrink or they can also expand a little bit if you pull on them they can actually fit in uneven uh, lug sizes so the orient bambino i think this one has a 21 millimeter uh lug width so as you can see here it actually fits it perfectly it doesn't it, it it's not a snug fit it's not a, a tight as tight fit a a okay fit but still i think it works really really well with the uh watch and it actually enhances that dial very well and just brings it a bit of brings a bit of class so it's not as sporty as you would think the second one that we have we have the red also perlon and this one goes with my Harness Daytona, which is also the um, homage to the Bell and Ross uh, belly tanker. That's the uh, the watch that it homages with that dial. So I have to say that this was a bit controversial for me. I wasn't 100% sure, but the black accents in the strap with the black ceramic bezel on the watch and that kind of uh, the uh, panda look on the dial, I think it actually works really well with this also this is a 20 millimeter so again same style slim profile and it's the it's a bit of a not necessarily hit and miss to this you either like it or you don't but i actually think i actually think it looks uh, it works really well so just because of the contrast of the colors uh, makes this uh, strap work uh, really well with the um the harness also 20 millimeter you know you can't can't go wrong with that so slim profile small lugs uh, really uh, really kind of uh, balances the uh, colors on the strap so moving on to the next one now the third one that I have on the list this is my Seiko chronograph and this particular one I think works really well with the Seiko now initially I had this strap on a different watch but I actually felt that the classiness and the fact that this is a more of a kind of um, shinier finish glossier finish on the strap uh, brings this brings a bit more uh, touch of class and a bit more elegance to the actual watch and considering the fact that the numerals on this watch are a bit um angled this is a more a traditional traditional more vintage style looking dial so again it's a lovely looking watch and 
the strap actually kind of enhances that and the colors with it you know elegance and uh, finesse now the watch only costs 100 euros so it doesn't it, it, it's not that much but it works so it doesn't have that kind of sportier feeling and it just enhances the the classy look that i that i was mentioning uh to the watch and this is a lovely day-to-day -day watch and i have to say that it is a bit, a bit of a strap monster because this works really well with a uh, also a leather strap a more elegant um crocodile looking strap and also with this what a strap nato strap from uh armella yeah there you go guys so let's move on move on to the fourth one that's nope that's it that's the fourth one fourth one that i have is my citizen eco drive chronograph now i'll leave again from all the watches that i will um, be uh, showcasing today with the straps i'll leave um links below down below if you want to check them out now the watch that i have again a citizen and this is a uh, eco drive so it's a chronograph and the strap the green one actually works really well i think with the gray dial now you would think that this strap probably would work better with this watch but i think the contrast with the orange and the dial the orange uh, chronograph hand and the or orange second hand i think actually with the green actually works slightly better and again it's not a super uh, bright green so it's an army kind of khaki army khaki khaki green but um yeah it actually works well with it and again 20 millimeters it's within that uh, sweet spot makes it look really uh, slim and the watch is not actually that big so good looking dial the strap balances the colors very well as you can see it doesn't sit too tall because it's a single pass so you don't have that uh, that um, double strap underneath the watch there you go so let's just move on to the fifth and last one and the fifth and final one guys is this one so this is on my casio edifice this is the um the panda dial now again as you can see the kind of running theme is that i have a lot of chronographs in my collection and i use them all on chronograph all the straps but this was for me the surprise because i only have a 6.3 inch wrist i should have mentioned that at the start of the video but the reason why actually that this watch this particular watch it was on sale i, I had it on for uh, on uh, online to sell it and the reason why I actually decided not to is because of this strap, because I was expecting it to look a lot bigger. Now, not that it looks super small because it's a, it's a 42 millimeter watch, but the strap actually makes it look slightly smaller than expected. So that's why it was a bit of a surprise for me. It works really well, the gray with the dial, because the dial is not, is not white. So it's a bit of a um, off-white kind of gray tinge to it. And also the same with the, um, the sub dials so that's what i'm saying the the side of the strap here the edge the uh, sides of the strap do actually work really well with the the colors on the dial but there you are guys that is the 22 millimeter aero ballistic on the uh, 42 millimeter uh, casio edifice now this one has a relatively short lug to lug it's not a thick watch by any means i think this has around uh, 12 millimeters uh, thickness so again not big not thick but also not small but the reason why i'm saying this is because before i used to have it on this strap now this particular one was super uh thick i'm not even going to show you i'm just using it for a comparison but um there you go guys so again this watch now is off the sale uh off it's not on sale anymore just because of this strap so i decided to uh, to actually keep it again you can find the link for this on, on amazon i'll leave it uh, below for you guys to uh, check out and that was it so there you go guys these are all the straps that i had for you guys to, to check out today from armilla watch bands in conclusion i have to say that if you do want to buy a strap a nato strap for your watch premium nato strap armilla is delivering especially if you do want to go uh, for the four pack or the eight pack which will get you a lot of straps so eight eight straps will actually be enough and especially for 1125 for this quality strap is actually unbelievable considering the fact that if you do decide to go on aliexpress you, you don't know what you're getting i always do recommend for a cheaper watch that's completely fine but these are quality natos consistent finishing consistent um quality throughout so i didn't have any problems and they're all super super uh comfortable and again i would definitely recommend it 
once again i'll leave all the relevant links in the into the description box below uh, also at a discount code with 15 percent off your purchase i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed uh, the watches that i have lined up for you guys today with the um, straps if you made it so far in the video thank you very much for listening to me talk about straps today not about watches as much and uh, i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much and bye